Now, there's nothing new happening here. You know, I mean, in reality, you know, none of this is new to the natives. But if, if the non-natives could remember, none of it's new to them either. If the non-natives could remember, they've been civilized a whole lot longer than us. You know, nothing new happening here. If you look at, at Western civilization, everything gives off a pattern, a behavior pattern. If it lives and moves, it gives off a behavior pattern. Everything. Individuals, groups, and history. And if you look at the behavior pattern of the history of Western civilization, you will see the tax systems, the tax man, the soldiers, the law, the whole thing. That's today. That's today. That's the way the system functions today. Minor adjustments, but basically the, the occupiers, the landlords, the owners of the land, the rulers of the land, and the tax man. And the armies to go out and fight for the rulers of the land. So if one looks at history, the behavior pattern doesn't really change. What seems to change is that, see, as human beings, the human part, it comes for X amount of time. As a human being, we're born, the human is here, lives, <laughs> dies, right? And that human memory is gone. So the behavior pattern basically remains the same. So it's like, it means all they have to do is recycle their behavior pattern every third generation because who's going to remember? And the technology changes, so the terminology changes. And because the technology changes, then that means material changes, terminology changes, the generations change. But the system itself remains the same. I mean, practical reality, how and why was America created? America was created because the ruling class that had started to emerge in America, they wanted it themselves, they didn't want to share with England, so they gave those who weren't the ruling class, in order to get them to fight for them, they gave them a vote. There, you can vote. They called it a democracy, majority rule. So this democracy, majority rule, place it to America, place it back to Rome, place it back to whoever's democracies are. Every democracy has a small ruling class. Every democracy has economic class systems. Every democracy has sexism. Every democracy has the religion of the state. Every democracy had slaves. But people want to pretend that that's not part of it, when that's the heart and the core of it. But back to America, majority rule. If you were a white male that didn't pay taxes, you had no taxable value. If you were a white male that did not own property, you, did, you had no taxable value, so you didn't get to vote. If you were a female, you were mentally inferior, so you didn't get to vote. If you were a black, you were property, so you didn't get to vote. And you, you were a native, you were the enemy, so you didn't get to vote. So the majority rule democracy is decided by the smallest minority of people here. Now there's a reality to that that says that's what democracy is really all about. The lie and the fantasy that everybody wants to hear doesn't change that reality. That's what they're using to lead the human beings of America and their descendants now. That's what they're using to lead the human to feed the being to the machine. These lies. I think that there's a lot that people really need to think about.